Right, I'm on my way to the post office now. There's, I think there's probably at least a foot and a half of snow. This is the most snow I have ever seen at the flea market. I don't even know if the post office is open right now. I do see a few cars driving on the road, but this is nuts. I have, ba I have plastic bags <laughs> inside my shoes or on my socks, and I also have plastic bags over my shoes because I don't own boots. I don't even own a pair of boots. I only have these tennis shoes. I bought at Ross for 20 bucks. Oh man. All right, take a look at this. Here we go. Look at this. Holy crap. I was gonna drive. I didn't realize how bad it was out here. So I only live like two blocks, or th I think it's like two or three blocks from the post office. And then another couple blocks past that is the gym, so. We're going to the post office and then the gym. All right, here's the post office. Are they gonna be open? Now, the thing is, I only brought one package with me. I was almost thinking of not shipping anything, but I promised this buyer I would ship out today. And when I promise somebody something like that, I do my best to try to accomplish it. And since I was on my way to the gym anyway, I just threw his, it was just a PlayStation game. So, I figured just throwing my backpack. Uh, it'll be closed. They're closed. So I guess I'm not shipping that guy's package out. I'm gonna have to mess. I'm actually gonna send him a couple pictures of this place and tell him, sorry, our town is closed down today. Ain't no packages getting in or out right now. It's pretty crazy. Fun times. This is the kind of stuff I live for, actually. I love this. Freebooter here in an RV at the flea market in the middle of a blizzard. It looks like there's about a foot of snow and we got another two feet coming. So this is awesome. I love misery. Cannot get enough of it. I'm looking forward to jogging to the gym in the middle of a blizzard. This is sales from Tuesday and Wednesday. This is Thursday right now. So I only ship out every two or three days because I hate shipping and I like to put it off. My feedback is at 100%. It's pretty easy to keep 100%. I've shipped over 12,000 items and I've only had maybe three negatives the whole time. So um, we're going to start the cheapest and work our way up to the most expensive thing I sold over the last couple days. First we got this Daytona Beach Police Department key ring. This I got in a bunch of challenge coins. Challenge coins are really cool. I've got 13 bucks for this. Now some people don't want to sell that cheap of stuff. But if you can pick it up for almost free. If you can sell a $10 item every day that's $300 a month. So... If you can pick it up for almost free, this is easy to sh list, easy to ship. So, whatever. Next cheapest item was... Oh, you know what? I think the next cheapest item was these caps. Yeah, uh, we got a couple of Fox News caps here. We got Fox News Channel and Fox Sports Rocky Mountain. These are from early 90s. And even news stuff is collectible. These I got these on a lot of cable network caps i got about 140 caps for 100 bucks and some of those caps actually sold for like 40 bucks a piece i made back all of my money off of three caps and then the rest of it is just profit so i i sold the two of these for 22 bucks i know this one sells for like 30 bucks in good shape but it's super faded and worn but 22 bucks those are going to ship out first class not bad next we sold this spider monkey this is an old vintage, I think it's early 90s, Hong Kong. This might be late 80s, actually. I'm not sure the date. This doesn't have a date on it, but it's made by Imperial. It's a really cool-looking little spider monkey. I like how it looks. And it's got the Imperial necklace on there. I thought I was going to get about 30 bucks for it, but it ended up selling for a little over 22 bucks. Really cool little monkey. I, I bought this in a bunch of toys for almost free. I love that little spider monkey. Cool spider monkey. 
I don't know why I like this guy like so much. Next we got Mighty Mouse. Mighty My Mighty Mice. Mighty Mouse has always been a pretty good seller for me. But this is in really rough shape actually. It's got a bunch of little it's got like dandruff, like his hair is coming out and stuff. So let's just take a quick look at Mighty Mouse. I thought I was gonna get be able to get like 70 or 80 bucks for this guy. Just because he was so rare. But he's missing his cape. So if he had had his cape still, I probably could have got like 70 bucks. As is, I got 22 bucks for him. Even though it was so cheap, I pick up stuffed animals a lot. A lot of plush. Plush is so cheap. I st I'll still pick it up if I can get it for like a quarter or 50 cents. Or maybe a dollar sometimes. Next cheapest thing is this one. Out of all the stuff I sold, this was probably the most useless one. Now I got it in a lot of Legos. This is three set from Five Nights at Freddy's. And I believe they're complete. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I can't remember if these are complete. They've been sitting here for about two weeks. I thought I was gonna get 35 for them. These actually came in a lot of Legos. I got a lot of Legos a couple weeks ago and they were almost all complete sets with the instructions, but I had to do a little bit of reorganizing and there was three Five Nights at Freddy's sets. So I paid five bucks for like six sets of Legos. Um, 30 bucks for three sets, so not saying a lot, but picked it up for almost free. Next, oh my gosh, what is happening here? What is happening? Let's see here. All right, next cheapest thing. I think it was another $22 item. What was the other the other one? Oh, you know what? I think that's all the $22 items. Okay, cool. We got into the $40 items now. So, we got a few $40 items here. We got a Super Nintendo game, Breath of Fire 2. Been picking up video games like crazy recently. I paid, I actually got this for free. I bought a bunch of stuff. What was it? What was I buying from that guy? Oh, I bought some Disney stuff. And the Disney stuff I wasn't even excited about. But he actually was like, hey, I found this under my, I found, it was like he dropped, had dropped it behind his TV years ago or something like that. Had, he had no idea if it was good or not. But he just handed it to me. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, that's a Super Nintendo RPG. Anytime you see a Super Nintendo RPG, it is a good time to get excited. Because I put this up for, uh, I, I got $42 for this almost immediately. If these are in really good shape, you can get upwards of $50. If they're complete, obviously you can get more. So, Super Nintendo RPGs. And then PlayStation RPGs are also awesome picked this up for a dollar a couple weeks ago i actually have the pickup of these i actually got a bunch of playstation 1 rpgs including suikoden 1 2 and 3 number two is one of the most sought after ones and i got 148 dollars for it within the within the day of listing it and this one finally just sold for 42 dollars paid a dollar got 42 bucks for it easy money next we got another 40 dollar item this one also sold for 42 dollars this is a crypt keeper I sold another Crypt Keeper like a month ago, and the talking, anytime you see horror stuff, take a look, do some research on it, and especially horror stuff that makes noises. Anything that talks or makes scary sounds and stuff, and if it looks vintage, a lot of that stuff is really collectible. So I got $42 for this. The last Crypt Keeper I got, it, he was bigger than this one, he was also talking, and I think I got $65 for that one. Um, I paid $5 for this out at the flea market. So, super cool score. I would make him talk, but he takes three watch batteries. And if a toy, or if something takes double A's or triple A's, I'll usually leave it in because I can pick those up at the dollar store where I am. But for some reason, they stopped selling this size watch battery. So, I'm not going to ship. The, they're like, they cost me like five bucks for three of them. So, I'm not going to waste money shipping out the watch batteries. They're going to have to get their own watch batteries. Um... Okay, next, next highest is this machete here. Let me make sure I got the right machete because I have three machetes left. I don't want to be showing you the wrong machete. So this is another Collins machete. I showed these a few times in my videos before. I picked up a lot of 11 of these for $200. I sold four of them with the horn handle. Some of the uh, pre-World War II ones came with a uh, green horn handle. 
These three that I have left have black plastic handles. Now the first four of them that I sold, I sold for $250 for two. So I made about $500 for on the first four machetes that I sold. So all the rest are profit. This I sold for 70 bucks. The ones with the plastic handle do not go for as much as the green horn handles. Now what I'm talking about here is Legitimus Collins & Co. Made in the USA machetes. Collins & Co. started in the late 1800s and ended, I think they went out of business in the 60s or 70s. Now their blades are just way better quality than the new blades. Most of the stuff we make nowadays, like 99% of it, is junk compared to the old stuff we used to make, unfortunately. We really need to bring back quality stuff in uh, in the world, not just the country, but we need to bring back making quality stuff. I actually sold another machete. This is, I think, well, let me make sure this is the right one here. Yeah, number 808. Now this is, a, this is a pretty long one. This is the longest one I got out of the lot. This is number 808. Made in the USA, Legitimus Collins & Co. My camera really sucks, but let's see. Can you see the logo yeah so this is like right after world war ii started they started producing machetes with that type of handle the black plastic handle like that it's pretty cool still got some of the tag left on it this other one didn't have the tag on at all so i got 70 dollars for this one shipped and 78 dollars shipped on this one anything i make off of it is profit at this point okay so next Next, that's last definitely. Next, I picked up a bunch of prosthetic stuff out here at the flea market. I paid 60 bucks for a, uh, three boxes of stuff. So first we got this Willow Wood Alpha Classic Lock and Liner. This is for somebody with a missing leg. And these are really high quality. New, these go for about 300 and up. This is a really high quality brand made in Germany. This one actually has some stains and stuff on it, and it's it's well used, but still there's no problems with it. You can you can definitely get a lot of use out of this thing still. This is just one thing out of the three boxes. I have a whole bunch more of this kind of stuff to sell, and I got a hundred bucks for this. Sold within two days of posting it. And these came out of the same lot. More prosthetic stuff. Socket Technologies knee sleeve. We got two of them and it sold for a hundred bucks immediately upon posting. Probably could have got 150 bucks out of it pretty easily. But at this point, I'm just making room in my inventory, selling stuff as fast as possible. And last, but certainly not least, this is my sale of the month easily so far. This one made me so happy. There's actually a little bit of a story behind this. So, you know, I was telling you about that low, that haul of caps that I paid a hundred bucks for. I got 140 caps out of it, and the first three caps I sold, I made I, I made over 100 bucks. So the first three caps I sold, I think I sold two of them for 30 bucks each, and then one for 40 bucks. Oh no, excuse me, two of them for 40 bucks each, and then one for 30. So I made over 100 bucks off the first three caps I sold. So the rest of the caps are all profit. And this was in that lot. You can actually go back. I don't remember exactly when I made it. But it was a few months ago that I made the the haul video where I picked these caps up. It's like a 20 minute video. It's not very interesting, but I do show this cap in there. And I was really, I had no idea what to price this cap at. There was no other ones like it. This is a Legendary Ladies H of F 1988. Oh, Legendary Ladies of Baseball H of F 1988. And it's signed by a bunch of these ladies. I The thing is, I don't even know that much about this stuff. I don't know about it. I just listed it as Legendary Ladies of Baseball Hall of Fame Signed Autographs Vintage. So it has a bunch of famous, I, I believe they're famous. I don't really know anything about baseball. I don't know anything about sports, but maybe if you know about this stuff, you know some of their autographs. So I put it up for $200 or best offer and it's been sitting there for like four months or something, four or five months or something like that. And every time I look at it, I'm like, uh, $200, I think $200 is a little too much. And I was actually thinking of marking this down to like 50 or 60 bucks just to get it out of there. But I just, 
I just kind of forgot about it. It was just sitting back there in my inventory. And then last night I was sitting there and I heard a cha-ching and I looked at it and I was like, holy shit. I had put all this, I had put a sale on my items the day before yesterday, a 15% off sale. And this sold for $174.50 shipped. So, I mean, it was, there was a best offer on it, but they didn't even send me a best offer. They just paid $175. I was just like, wow, I am so happy that that thing sold. I'm so happy that I didn't mark it down. And that's a funny thing actually is recently I've been listing from my phone and usually I put free shipping on my stuff. But for some reason, when I list on my phone, it messes up and puts shipping on it. And the weird thing is I've been selling stuff for more expensive with that shipping included. So I've been selling stuff for the price that I want to sell it for free shipping with shipping included. So I've actually been making extra money on my stuff by accident, which is really weird. I don't understand it at all because for the first for like three years of eBay, I've always had free shipping. So I don't know, people just don't know how to ship. Uh, people don't know how to shop for the best items or something. I'm not really sure. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.